Okay, for root mean square velocity, I said this in the question, there's only two, I, I guess you could say three possible that are involved with root mean square velocity. Uh, <coughs> this one is the one because in this question, uh, it's only helium. So if there's only one compound and temperature is given, here's your formula. Uh, your other option for root mean square velocity is Graham's law. But th in that case, two compounds must be given. Here there's only one, and it's helium. Yeah, for Graham's law, you have uh, helium and hydrogen, or helium and methane. Uh, your other possibility for root mean square is uh, some sort of kinetic energy. So if kinetic energy is given, then you'd go kinetic energy is one half mu bar squared. And then you'd get it that way. So, here though, there's only temperature, nothing else is given, there's only one compound, it's got to be this formula. Uh, do you remember, is it room temperature? What's, it, what's the temperature? 25 degrees Celsius. Huh? 25? 25, okay, which is room temperature. We want to use this uh, R, 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. T. 298. Uh, you can put the one five in there if you want. That's fine if you want five digits. M, here's the key part of this one. M has to be in kilograms per mole. So this is going to be uh, for helium, 4.003, but that's grams. So to put kilograms, you need to move it over three spaces. Kilograms per mole has to be kilograms because this is an SI units only sort of question. And then whatever it is. What's the units of the answer, by the way? Yeah, it has to be meters per second because it's a velocity. Does that answer your question? 